Paladin Forge. To what do I owe the pleasure? Just thinking about the bad old days, like you said. And that bar you used to tend at the base of Felwinter Peak. You went by Wu Ming, as I recall. Made some coin selling drinks to the Iron Lords. Then spent it hiring them to do jobs on the side. Remember all of that? Yeah, I remember. You left out the part where you threatened to burn it down. Maybe I should have. I never asked you why you ran that little operation. What did you stand to gain? With how your pack of wolves tipped their bartender? Not much. That place never got too busy, but... I had my regulars, and they all had their problems. Some of them just weren't that easy to see from on top of a mountain. Maybe I wanted to call them to your attention. Ah, uh, so you had a better perspective. Not better, just different. Huh. I suppose I could see the value in that. Everything's got value, old wolf. You just gotta know where to look. This is awful. <laughs> sure is. You ever been outside of Seoul? Never had a reason to. Hmm. Can't say I recommend it. Saw some stuff while I was out there. Bad stuff. A world colder than you can imagine. Creatures that suppressed the light. My crew. Let's just say we wore out our welcome. Creatures started closing in. Trigger fingers got itchy. Some of us froze to death. A lightless final death. The others... They didn't go so quiet. Not until I shut them up. Not sure how long I stayed after that. Had to mod my ghost to survive. Used the parts from... I did what it took to get off world. And now I'm here. I'm no stranger to combat, but... How did you leave it all behind? I didn't. Some things you carry with you forever. But eventually, they stop feeling too heavy to lift. Thanks for the drink, Drifter. <laughs> Anytime, Sloan. Anathema. Calamity. That which cannot, must not come to pass. A wordless denial. A fleeing god. Betrayal. And escape. The pursuit. For the final shape.
We're almost there. My link with Asa feels crystal clear. It's a little frightening, but strangely comforting, too. A lot changed while I was gone. It feels like... Like the entire universe moved on without me, and now I'm struggling to catch up. Old enemies became new allies. New enemies wield the light against us. And old allies... Friends... Like Amanda. Sometimes I wonder... If I returned to the tower... Would it even be my home anymore? Or would I just be a phantom? <laughs> Forgotten memory wandering its streets at night. Zivu Arath's voice keeps telling me I don't belong there. That the battlefield is my home. That it always has been. Maybe she's right. Maybe reliving what I went through over and over again is a way for me to... ...stay in familiar territory. To remain in the hell that I know. ...and avoid the one I dread. Either way, the mission comes first. I have to see it through to the end... ...regardless of where I end up when it's done. Ah! I see you! You see me too? Ha! Good, good. Then it is all working. You, me, this projector. Even if we sometimes falter. There is a war building in Sloane's eyes. One that Zivu Arath will exploit as she did with Osiris. Savathun wore his face, but it was Zivu Arath who took his light. Her whips drove him into a frenzy, lured him to danger, forced Sagira's sacrifice, and left him to die. Now she twists my thoughts into thorns, draws out the faces of the suffering Elixni into my dreams. She whispers that I took pleasure in their pain. I see their eyes as they died by my hands, and they see me. She does not lie. She challenges what you hold as a strength. Osiris's ambition, my protection. Sloane's duty. I have felt how the right word, the right face, can incite one to violence. But I have changed what she has taken. It will not break me. Sloan is no warrior of glass, but the war within her. Even stone crumbles under enough strife. Stay with her, Guardian, as I should have with Osiris. We must offer her what support we are able, even if she does not want it.
Wait, this looks like a cavern, but it's not. It's one of the hive's organic buildings. Any idea what we're looking at, Finch? No, but the hive don't dress things up for fun. If they disguise this, whatever it is, it's it's because they feel like there's something worth hiding. Then we'll get to the bottom of it.
the ever forward march of time has a humorous way of looping in on itself. Doesn't it? In some ways, a long-lived perspective makes it difficult not to see trends die and resurface. Do you think that's how the witness sees us? Variations of potential, or lack thereof? What's really on your mind? Sloan. She is singularly focused on her mission. That type of focus. You forget to come up for air. It's like a death when it's over. Your command can be an anchor. Keep her from drifting. That's what I tried to do for you. I seem to recall pushing back against your methods quite often. The Dark Age drove us to extremes. Your style of leadership is... more refined than mine. It wasn't long ago that I was your pupil. Since then, I'd like to think we've developed a trust beyond authority or duty. How did you foster that friendship while being my superior? You're not listening, Zavala. I didn't. Remember, you left my tutelage. All I did was give you the lessons I thought you needed to survive. Nothing more. You're saying I can't be all things. I'm saying I can't tell you what you want, because our friendship was not of my making. When the Iron Lords fell, when the Red Legion caged the Traveler, when the pyramids filled our skies, my heart was not open. You were. Despite your doubts, others see you as a pillar of strength. They're drawn to the shade you provide. Just stay standing. Sloan's voice to speak my words. Please, heed them well. Before you can confront the Witness, you must understand it. The Witness's first victims were once like you, struggling for survival bolstered by hope, and so their hopes became reality. They called it the Gardener, their deity of life. It ushered them into a golden age. For eons, they prospered. But their newfound god never spoke to them. It lavished them with gifts, but not with guidance. And though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. They desired meaning, structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it, they arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the light, how it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat, without reason. And so they saw the light, not as a source of prosperity, but of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. 
and in the darkness. They found the means to carve away the chaos of existence, to calcify it into a final shape. Eternal and perfected. They brought the veil back to the gardener in an attempt to strengthen their connection. There, they could reshape reality itself. The gardener would not allow it. And so it fled their world. But they would not be deterred. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witnesses' pursuit, its campaign to impose meaning on a meaningless universe, one that is nearly at its end. Well, now we've heard what Asa had to tell us. We know our enemy better than ever. To think that it all started with the need for purpose. How that need became an obsession. What bothers me most is how much I understand it. This mission. It's my purpose, my reason for being my guiding light. Without it, I... I'm lost. I don't know who I am or what I'm supposed to do. And that lack of direction, it's harder to face than a thousand battles. I felt the same about my previous mission when I held the line on Titan. And if I'm being honest, it feels like I failed. I survived, but for what reason? What was it all meant to achieve? The only answer I've found is to learn what Asa knows. If I can do that, it will all have been worth it. Our link ended before Asa could explain how to get through the portal. The bond took its toll. But we'll both be ready again soon. When that time has come and gone, then I can feel like I accomplished the mission. Change of plans. Zivu Arath struck while you were returning from the dive. Hive deception slipped through our guard, and Asa was targeted by a Hive ritual. Zivu Arath's voice tore through the air like a wall of swords. We think it wounded Asa, but she swam off to try and interrupt the ritual before we could do anything. Zavala and Sloan are tracking her to the ritual site, and I am mobilizing the Iron War Beasts to support them. We need you in the fight, Guardian. I'm sending coordinates to your ghost, but we have no idea what to expect there. Deploy to the ritual site and disrupt the hive. The hunt is on.